Hi, my name is Josh, and I'm making a paleontology game where all the characters are dinosaurs, or other prehistoric animals. Here's how I gave my characters unique voices that mimic the cadence of speech. First, I recorded myself saying the alphabet using Audacity, and then I exported each letter as a separate WAV file. I then created a component in Unity that contained an audio player and audio clip array. I populated the audio clip array with the WAV files I had exported, making sure to leave the last spot empty. And then I wrote a bit of code for my dialogue system. Here's some pseudocode to explain the method. Most dialogue systems already iterate over each letter in a line to print characters one at a time, like a typewriter. So, for each character, we first convert it to its uppercase Unicode value. For example, the value for A, whether printed lower or uppercase, would be 65, and B would be 66. We then subtract this Unicode value by 65. The difference is the index value. So, for A, the index would be 0, and for B, the index would be 1, and so on. Next, we check if the index is below 0. If it is, then that means the character is not in the alphabet, and we assign the value of 26 to the index, which you might remember we left empty. This means the character will stop making noise when punctuation or spaces are being printed, mimicking the cadence of speech. So, now we find the audio clip in the array at the correct index, and then load that audio clip into the audio player and play it. And there you have it, dialogue sounds. There's much more you can do too. You can add in functionality so you can put in lots of different voices. I have personally put my wife, family, and friends in as NPCs. You can also change the pitch of the audio for each NPC, adding even more variation to the voices. And you can also switch the scale of the NPC's headphone so it moves with the dialogue. I hope you enjoyed this short overview of this method, and if you have further questions, please comment below and I'll try to answer them. If you're interested in exploring a small open world and interacting with cute dinosaurs, please wish less good lands on Steam. Link below. Also, a few acknowledgements. I modified this concept from a video by Blip Sounds. You should check out his video if you enjoyed this one. I'm also using Yarn for my dialogue system. It takes a bit of work to set up, but I preferred it to creating a custom system, and the dialogue editing software is stellar. I've linked two videos that help a ton getting started with the system.